Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today, yes, it is a different scene from last week's video, but we're just experimenting a little bit with what we have basically. And I'm actually gonna start this piece from scratch as I had a few recommendations. I'm gonna be doing a painting of two girls from a boarding school in Uganda. After last week's portrait, I really want to just continue painting young black girls in my channel. So I'm gonna be doing two girls and they were besties and they asked me to take pictures of them. And I just wanna paint them in today's video, basically. They're also adorable and I hope you like this video. Anyways, let me just stop talking and get right to the time lapse. I know you guys are waiting nervously to see how this painting has turned out. Also, remember to like this video if you're liking it so far and please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm thankful for every single subscriber has that has took the time to subscribe to me. <laughs> that has took the time to subscribe to me so far. Also, hit the notification bell. It what that does is help you notify as soon as my video comes out, which is 5 p.m. every Friday, Central European Summertime. It has never changed, and I don't think it ever will for a while. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Gotta find a place, I won't get away. Let the bad times be gone. When the days are rough, I can dust it off. Change the state, I'm in. This is a finishing result of the drawing that we're going to be using for today's painting. Now, I apologize for the last clips. I accidentally deleted most of the footage myself just a minute ago and I do not know how to get it back. Yes, we're all human and we make mistakes, but I hope you enjoyed the little sneak peek of my drawing process behind the scenes. Now, it's a little bit misleading because it does take me a long time to get to a composition that I actually like and I want to continue with, especially this one. I think I must have redrawn it about 50 times, but sometimes you never know. You draw it once and you love it straight away. I just want to make it clear that these things don't take 10 minutes to do. They do take a really long time and painting as a hobby, especially oil painting, is very time consuming. And I just wanted to let you know if you didn't know that already. And comment down below if there's any videos you'd like to see from me in the future. I know I've been getting some requests in the comments and I've written them down and I'm working towards making those videos in the very near future. So just be patient if you've comment down something that you want. It might be here next week or the week after. I do have a little schedule going on. Anyways, let's get on to the video. So before we get going, the color scheme I'm using is the same as in the last video. And I do mention the, the specific color names and brands in my second video on my channel, which is um, what I do over slash use before I start an oil painting so I have that linked in a card so you can check that straight after this one if you were you know if you were interested it's voiceover Kirsty back here talking to you guys I wanted to address something quickly before we move on until the topic of this video and yes my name is Kirsty by the way and it's pronounced as such I realised that I haven't really formally mentioned what my name is and, you know, I was a bit dumb to think that it'll be a bit obvious because it's my channel name, but Kirsty isn't a very common name in most parts of the world, so it just came to realisation that I should really mention it, in at least in this video, and I will continue to try at least introduce myself at the beginning in future videos just so people know for reference. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. In this video, I will be discussing about productivity, especially on YouTube, and the sense of being productive and actually how that can be harmful. If you're interested in my opinions and experiences on this topic, continue listening and watching till the end of the video. Thank you very much. And if you're liking the speed paint so far, please remember to give a like. Productivity. Productivity is something that inherently 
sounds like a good thing but I feel like it does more harm than it does good especially productivity nowadays in social media I see a lot of product uh, productivity channels um you get what I mean but study youtubers and videos on how to get things done day by day which on the surface seem like it would be a very good video to watch very informative and quite a healthy habit to get into but I feel like with current culture we forget what being productive and what keeping busy really means being productive and keeping busy doesn't mean doing the work that you quote-unquote supposed to do and the work that you're supposed to do in our culture usually is your homework could be studying it could be work related things if you have a nine-to-five and the sense of keeping busy it's not entertaining yourself so you're not getting bored or going down an unhealthy mental space the sense of keeping busy nowadays is to do something that's it's that is deemed productive in society's eyes a lot of you right now might be not might disagree with me and think that doing work and working all the time is important and it's a good thing obviously with everything it's good in moderation i do understand that all of us have things that we have to do for our jobs, for school, etc., and even for our goals. But we are now neglecting the things that we enjoy and the things that actually mm, helps us wake up in the morning, the things that help us get through the day without going crazy and without having a depressive mindset. For example, we actually think negatively on things that distract us from our main work. For example, I've seen videos where they explain oh how do you stop getting distracted maybe it's a good thing to get distracted as long as you finish the work for example me doing my youtube videos i have a deadline i still have a goal to achieve i still have something that i need to do that is quote unquote work and productive but if i'm filming for half an hour and i want to stop painting and have a cuddle with my dog or watch some netflix or even just step outside and get some fresh air i can do that that's not a distraction and that's not and even if it was it's not a negative thing because you do need a breather on everyday things and i don't like when teachers especially in schools say that your schoolwork should be a priority and of course it's very important you know especially if that is one of your goals to do well at school but it's not the end of the world if you stop after 30 minutes of doing your homework and you just want to relax a little bit I feel like after relaxing a little bit and doing the thing that you want to do, when you come back to the work that you have to do, you feel a lot better and renewed. And I think how productivity is said and how the topic is being talked about in these YouTube videos, it has been skewed in the mindset of ignore everything that you like, work hard now in order to get the good things after. When you can get you can work hard and do the things that you like at the same time. YouTube for me has helped me have a schedule and something to do and something to look forward to. Having starting this channel three weeks ago, I realized the importance of having small goals that you can achieve little by little. I feel like when we have this mentality of working hard for your goals, We think of working hard for something that we want to achieve in a few years' time, which is a good thing to think about. I think it's great to have somewhat of an orientation that kind of guides what you do in your everyday. So for me, for example, I would love to work in an interior design firm and I would like to have my own interior architecture company in in like 10 years and I also love to have my own exhibition and etc etc but I'm ignoring what I want to have next week or tomorrow or what, what I want to hi I just come in here very quickly to say that I'm going to be using a different kind of blue for the clothing today as you've seen in the palette at the beginning of this video is a few shades of very bright sky blue but I did not do that with ultramarine I actually did it with this um, paint called Schwe- Schweningen blue deep 
Yes, this when you mix it with white, it makes a, a brighter, very vibrant sky blue. Whereas with ultramarine blue, it does make it a bit more duller. It does make a bit more of a duller blue. And I really wanted the clothing to pop from this painting. Okay, let's get going with the time lapse. Achieve tonight. And I feel like if you have something to achieve, but you don't force yourself to just work mindlessly. You just achieve the thing, and if you achieve it in that certain amount of time that you would like to achieve, regardless of what you do in between and around the time that you're doing your work, you tend to feel a little bit better. Me doing my YouTube videos, every time I've uploaded one on time and I've completed a good quality, at least for the, the skills that I have, a good quality video to post on YouTube, I did not work on that YouTube video 24-7. In between the video, I did the things that I wanted to do, like play The Sims, and I still managed to achieve it. And as a result, I'm happy because I split my time into doing the work in order to achieve my short-term goal and also doing the things that I want to do inherently, regardless of what's going on. And I don't allocate time on filming and the things I want to do every day. Obviously, I do keep in mind that during midday, there's a lot of noise outside in my street. So I tend to try and film voiceovers or speaking parts early in the morning or late at night because I know I won't have any distractions. But if I'm filming and I feel a little bit tired or just a bit flustered, you know, it's completely fine to just stop what you're doing and do something to just gain the energy back that you lost doing that thing. And, and that's with everything. I start playing games and sometimes I'm like, oh, I just want to stop playing this game. I get frustrated and I want to do something else. And maybe that something else is continuing with your work. I feel like we are giving ourselves a really hard time and doing the things doing the things that we're expected to do instead of doing the things that we want to do. As long as those things don't hurt anyone or yourself, why not do it? The worst thing you can do ever is making yourself to complete something or complete an unrealistic goal like studying 16 hours a day for a whole week and, and by the end of it, not even feel fulfilled by doing so. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is work smarter, not harder, and don't neglect your wants and needs. They are really important to keep you happy and healthy, and it's not unproductive, and it is not procrastinating. As long as you finish the... As long as you complete your short-term goals and you complete the work that you need to do for whatever reason, it's completely fine to get off track and maybe watch a movie. Thank you very much for listening to me and on the topic. I have so many more opinions on this, but I thought this is a great way to introduce the idea on productivity in YouTube. Please like, subscribe and comment your thoughts on this video. And if you would like to see any more videos from me, thank you very much for watching. I hope I see you next week. I post every Friday, 5pm Central European Summertime. I hope you have a great day.